Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to show you guys today some uh, release of the shins. So, um, we've got, you know, like tibialis anterior and uh, all the uh, extenders of the toes that come from here. Um, and so, uh, let's start with compression and active release. So, what we're going to do is, I'll show you my leg here. So, you got your your bone coming down here. What I want you to do is come to the side of it. It's like, like as soon as you fall off the bone, that's where I want to be. Put pressure, you're going to go up and down with the toe. And you're going to go up and down the toe and you're going to go up and down the shaft of the leg here. Just going up and down, up and down all the way down to the ankle, right? And then we're gonna come back up. You're gonna do this for a good, let's say two minutes. And then what I want you to do is, uh, you're gonna get the peroneals also since you're here, cause these guys tend to tighten up a little bit. So they're along the side of the leg here, if you, if you push on it, you'll feel your bone. And what I want you to do is, all along the bone here is the attachments of this muscle. So what I want you to do again is compress it, and you're, this time you're going to go in circles with the foot. And again, you're going to go up and down the leg there, and get it nice and loose. And then once you've done that, the next thing you can do is um, you can do a static stretch. So um, what I want you to do is, is cross your leg over your other leg and you're going to grab from your toe, like, like you're literally gripping the top, of your, uh, the top of your toe by your pinky, pinky toe, so not, not up here by the big toe. We don't want to do this straight back. What we want to do is grab here and pull up. And you're going to hold that for a good two minutes and repeat three times. And that's a really good static stretch. A lot of people feel it right over the joint of the ankle there. It really loosens things up. Um, and so do that guy. And then now we're gonna go to a little bit more advanced stuff. So some people won't be able to do this, um, but you can try it out and uh, see how it goes. So what I want you to do is start from a kneeling position. And you're just gonna sit back onto your heels. So make sure you guys can see me here. So you're gonna keep don't let your heels roll roll out to the sides so you're you're not really sitting on them. Make sure you tuck them under your bum and sit back on them. And then you can lean back. And uh, some people may not be able to do this, it might be too tight in the in, in the muscles so uh, if you can't, just go back to those uh, first two stretches that we did and repeat them until it loosens up enough that you can do this, uh, which may be after like a week or two of stretching like that. Um, and then if you really want to amp it up another level, you can um, sort of put your palms on your, on your, on your uh, quads here and you can lean back. And some people, they can get their knees off the ground and just hold that for a big two minutes. Mine's a little tight, for that. <laughs> but that's like the most advanced version. So um, this should really loosen up your anterior shins. So um, uh, get good blood flow to the feet. Um, sometimes it helps realign some of the bones because some of these uh, muscles pull the the bones of the foot up at, out of their um, proper spot. So uh, yeah, it does that, and so. Uh, I'll probably do an anatomy video where I paint it all on the leg so you guys can actually see the, uh, the f where the muscle goes, the fiber direction, and I can talk a little bit about where the injuries and stuff take place. But uh, that stretches, these stretches are great for people with shin splints. These stretches are great for um, anybody who sits at a desk all day and has their feet in the flexion position. Um, and just generally. Uh, you know, most people suffer from a little bit of a, a tightness and balance in there. So try the stretches out, try the active release out, uh, see what works for you. 
Uh, comment below, let me know how it goes, and uh, smash up the like, subscribe to the channel. You can always book an appointment at Daniel Massage Clinic. Sorry, yeah, DanielChiswickMassage.com. Sorry, made a new website. All right, have a great day, guys.